Now, with the start.html file, web page rather, I'm going to quickly start putting something together. And this is the first page people viewing the CD automatically see. This page automatically opens in their web browser. And first of all, of course, we've got to give it a title, even if you just have it as blank. Because leaving it as untitled document looks really unprofessional. So we can just we can just have welcome to the CD. Because actually, I don't have a name for this CD yet, even though it is just an example CD. Okay, I'll pause the video just for a moment there. It's really best if I give it a proper name. So let's say, welcome to, and in double quotes, my first CD. Let's just call it that. And then, actually just, I'll quickly mention, if you go to code view, that title text is what appears between the title tag here. In the head section of the HTML document, the body section is where most of the content on the page appears. The head section, on, head section contains other important information about the page. And in the head section between the title tags is is what is the title is is the title text and the title text appears. Okay, let me demonstrate this. I've saved what the small changes I've just done to start.html. And now if I double click start.html, it should open in the web browser. And of course at this time it's still a blank document. However, when it does open, I'll just demonstrate where the title text appears. Okay, any moment. All right, there we go. The title text appears here, what's known as the title bar. Okay. So back to Dreamweaver, back to Design View. And let's start creating the page. So let's just have the, the headline as... Welcome to my first CD. That should, that should be fine. And let's select that. Uh, put it in the center. Let's make it bold. Let's make it size, let's say 24 pixels. Let's say, make it red. Okay, that will do. And now I can... I can have some introductory text to the CD. For example, thank you again. Thank you again for your purchase. On this CD you'll find... Da, da, da. And just say, with... I'm just thinking off the top of my head here, but very quickly, the, the benefits of... Well, let's change that to... How you'll benefit with what you'll find on on this CD is, and so on. So really, a quick introduction. You may want to have a. Actually, I was just thinking maybe you want to have an about me paragraph. You know, this is about me and my business, but that really wouldn't be probably not the best thing to have on an introductory page. You may want to have a special About Me page if you want to talk about that. But what made me think of that is it's probably beneficial if you've got a photo, a, a portrait photo, or even just one you've taken with your webcam which looks fairly friendly or whatever. You can add a photo here. For example, you could just add it here, just below the headline. Have, your, have a picture of you there. So people can get to know you a bit and it makes the page a bit more friendly. And then you can lead into the text. And of course to add a photo it's very simple. Insert image. And I don't have such an image handy. And in later videos I will talk through inserting images in more detail. But that was just a thought. You may want to add that to your introductory page. Okay then finally. You could have. Let me see if I can spell. Click here to go to the. Click here to go to the CD menu screen, for example. 
And of course you can have the menu on the introductory page if you want. However, in this example I chose to, to break the CD up with an introductory page then leading to a menu screen. So let's select this and we want to make this clickable. And the link very simply is menu.html. And that's it. So let's save. Now if I go to the browser and refresh, we'll now see the page as it looks, as you can see. It's a bit bare and it does need work, of course. But that's how easy it is to put together, to put together a quick introductory page. And now if I click on this link, it goes to the menu.html file. As you can see here, it's gone to menu.html, but at this time the document, this web page, is still blank. And I'll start creating content for the menu.html file, which is the real main, main web page, or, or main menu screen in, in a sense, of the entire CD. I'll start creating that in the next video.